Good morning. What you doing? You don't know what to do when you're on camera, do you? No, you don't take my thong. That's not what you do. Hey! The air has never smelled so clean around these parts. Probably has, I don't know, maybe it's just the weather. Got up for a sunrise down at the beach today, which was beautiful sunrise. The past few weeks to a month, uh, all the beaches have been closed around here due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. But just yesterday, they lifted the restrictions on the beaches. I don't think the restrictions really stopped anyone anyway. The, uh, the few times I came past the beaches, they were always packed, but it's nice to come down here freely. particular reason why all cyclists just want to ride directly on the line of the bike lane rather than in the actual bike lane. I don't get it. There's a whole bike lane and you got to ride right on the line. They wonder why so many people hate them. Just get in your goddamn lane. How's your workout? Oh, why do people do this to themselves? <laughs> Eat some breakfast. I think I'm gonna throw up. I can't eat at the moment. Alright, well I'm gonna go have some breakfast. You go throw up. Okay. I'll see you after. <laughs> there is some big news with Virgin Australia today where they could be going bankrupt or going into voluntary administration uh, this morning. I do have some shares in Virgin Australia, so I might be losing that today. And it's not just because I've got money in it that I don't want it to go under. Virgin's been my favorite airline for a long time now. I've never had a drama with Virgin Airlines. It's probably the only airline I've never had a drama with. So I definitely hope it does make it through this. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be a shame to see it go. Well, there it is. Virgin Australia has gone bankrupt. I guess that just goes to show how volatile this world is right now. Never if you told me a couple of months ago that Virgin Australia would be going bust in the month of April 2020. I would not have believed it. From going from where it was to zero within a month is insane. I don't really know what that means for the whole aviation industry in Australia now. If it's pretty much run by Qantas, that, uh, that could mean some interesting times. I mean, for a massive company like Virgin Australia to go bankrupt like that, I think that really starts to show the, the serious effect that this whole pandemic is having in not only the health world, but in the whole economy as well. And for all of you that do have businesses of your own, I hope you're getting through this. This is such a hard time for all of us that have businesses and I hope you guys get through this. All right, heading into Brizzy real quick. Just got a few things I want to pick up and uh, then it's straight back home. For those of you who've been following me for a really long time, you probably remember that I've got a shoe shop in Brisbane that I've had for almost a year and a half now. I've been running this place as appointment only for quite a while now. After my surgery, I sort of had to take some time off and I uh, wasn't doing appointments in that time. Now with COVID-19 here, it's definitely been a rough road for this business the last six months. So much so to the point that I've decided that I won't be continuing my lease in this place, which is sort of unfortunate because a lot of effort did go into this space. As much as it's going to be a massive stress off my shoulders, it is a bit sad that I'm almost about ready to say goodbye. <laughs> When we first leased this space, there was literally nothing here. We painted everything, we got a new floor. That wall didn't used to exist. And there was really some big dreams for this place, which unfortunately didn't quite pan out as was originally hoped. As hard as it is to say goodbye to this space, uh, it's a, uh, it does feel good at the same time. You've always got to be looking forward and this space was a massive chapter in my journey and uh, I'm thankful for that. Now with that said, I'm not here to pack up this entire store yet. Just get a couple of things. I'm gonna take home this iPad and all of my smart lights. I'm gonna keep it for my shelf at home, I think. I don't know, 
know, decorating's never really been my forte. Anyway, that's going to be it from me for today. I'm just pretty much going to go into a whole afternoon and night of editing, so a bit more of a boring sort of day today, but hey, what can you do? Not every single day is gonna be too exciting, is it? So here's some links to some more exciting sort of vlogs, but hopefully this virus pisses off soon so we can get out and start doing some more fun stuff again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.